All right, let's go ahead and add a program to this program. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go to local and programs. We are going to add a program. Um, I am going to call this IO testing. And it is possible to add things like folders so you can do a little bit more organizing um, if you wanted to. So now that we have this program uh, ready to go, we're going to double click on it. That's going to bring us into this. So we have the option to do structured text, uh, function block, and then also function block, but um, a, a no NOLD worksheet. Um, so personally, I use structured text, so that's what we're going to use for today's example. Um, up here, we have our variables. We can also pin that. Um, and then we can open our code. So we can have our variable editor above and our code window down. And then we can actually get rid of this messages board for the moment. Um, now we have a nice little um, worksheet here. Uh, we can rename this. We could say um, this is digital um, IO. And then if you wanted to, you could even add another worksheet. Um, and we could actually call it analog IO. Um, help you with some organization um, and allows you to create less programs by creating multiple worksheets. Um, so now that we've sort of got a little bit right, a little bit started there, we need to actually put it into a task. Um, so the PLC Next 2152 has two cores. Um, you can see here with ESM1 and ESM2. If we double click on this, um, this is going to be your task and events session. Um, there's a couple of different, there's a cyclic task. Um, there's just a run as fast as you can task. They call it an idle task. Um, for this, we're going to call it um, cyclic 10. And all that means is that we're going to make it a cyclic task. Um, and we're going to make the interval actually 10 milliseconds. So that means that every 10 milliseconds, it's going to fire that um, code worksheet or, or any task that's been put into this task. Um, so if we take the program and we put IO testing, um, now that IO testing program will be running every 10 milliseconds, basically on a timer. Um, like I said, the other options are event task, idle task, and user event task. Um, I usually stick in cyclic and idle task, um, but I actually prefer cyclic because I can build my own timers based on a 10 millisecond interval and some other things. Um, so that's all you need to do. So we created a program, we created some worksheets inside the program, and then we attached that program to one of the two cores uh, doing the processing on the PLC next. Um, if you don't have your program in this, uh, in one of the cores when you're working on it, and you go to make external variable types, um, they don't move over to the external variable list, so you have to put them in manually. Um, so I always try to get my worksheets and my programs into the task schedule so that when you do create an external variable, um, it does get put into the variable list.